Hey guys, uh, Steve Trowbridge here. Um, so yesterday I talked about uh, PWI and them making Charlotte number one, the number one female wrestler in the PWI uh, female 50. So if you want to go check that video out, then you can. Um, I gave all my all my opinions on it in that video. So and also I didn't think I would be doing another video on them, but I will be doing another video on PWI because I found something else out about the PWI female 50 and uh, I'll probably talk about the, the 500 too, the PWI, uh, you know, male wrestler 500, but um, found something else about that today, so, which kind of got me pissed off, but I'll probably talk about that in another video, but anyways, so, um, I'm probably going to have a very controversial um, opinion on this matter, on this subject, um, but you know what, that's the great thing about it, it's just an opinion, it's not a fact, you know, it's just how I feel. If you feel differently, that's fine, and I'm sure a lot of people will feel differently from me, from what I'm about to give my opinion about, and if you disagree, that's fine, you know, it's no big deal. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to come right out and say it. Um, lately, ah, uh, man, lately I've just felt like Sasha Banks has been just a tad bit overrated. Yeah, I, I, I said it. I, I said it. I think Sasha Banks is a bit overrated. Now, anyways. Um, now, yes, 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 okay. I did, I've seen her matches at NXT. I saw both of her matches with Bayley. I saw her match, I saw a ton of her matches on NXT. Yes, I've seen them, okay? Because I know some people are, people are going to be like, well, did you see her matches at NXT? I mean, they were they were great, you know, they were, you know, match of the year and everything. Yes, I saw all of them, and they were good. They were very good matches. I'm not saying they weren't. But, again, you know, the, the whole match of the year thing, I thought it was very good, but, again, it's all just opinion, you know, the whole match of the year thing. But, yeah, so I've seen her stuff on NXT, you know, and I've even seen some of her early work on the indies, so, I mean, I, 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 I've seen plenty of her work. To form an opinion, um, but I just feel like lately, in the past few months, three, four months, um, and this could very well be due to the transition from, I mean, even though it was a year ago, this could be due to the transition from NXT to Raw, because I feel like, you know, the wrestlers on NXT have more freedom with their moveset and have more freedom in their matches, they have longer matches. Whereas a lot of the time when the NXT talent tra transfers to the main roster to Raw or SmackDown or whatever, the NXT talent will most likely get watered down and just be a shell of their self from what they were on NXT. And their matches sometimes do suffer, as we've seen with you know people like Paige and a few others. So it could be that. It could very well be that. But as of late, I've just felt... You know, watching Sasha Banks' Sasha Banks's matches, um, watching her promos, um, I just, I'm, I, I apologize, and I don't want to make anyone mad, but I, I, I just haven't been impressed. I really haven't. I mean, I, I could lie, I could lie to you all, and I could lie to myself and say, oh yeah, you know, great, you know, it's all awesome, you know, but. I don't want to do that, and I can't do that. I have to admit to myself that, you know, I think I just haven't been impressed with her work as of late. I really haven't. I don't think it's, I don't, I don't think it's been some of her best work. I think it's probably been some of her worst work, honestly. You know, it's a far cry from her work in NXT. Um, which, again, we're talking about pretty, pretty different shows, NXT and Raw, but still, you know, I, 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 I don't know what it is, but it just seems like she has started slipping in her matches, her promos, um, which, you know, that's something that I've always felt was a bit overrated about her anyways, her promos, because, I mean, I always thought her promos were good, but I never thought that they were as good as everyone made them out to be. I thought they were just good, that's it. I didn't think they were really good or great or anything. I mean, I just thought they were good, you know, kind of average, but... Uh, just... As of late, though, her promos. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk about one thing at a time. I'm gonna talk about her wrestling first. Her wrestling, to me, as of late, I just think she's been really slipping in that regard. Um, not that she's 
not that she's bad at wrestling. She's very, she's a very good wrestler. And I'm not saying her matches have been terrible, but I just felt like they've they've gotten more and more sloppy in the last few matches I've seen her on Raw and everything. And I haven't, I I watched the first four minutes of the Hell in a Cell match, but I had to, I was doing something else, so I had to click on, click off of it and then go do that other thing. So I still need to watch the Hell in a Cell match. It's on YouTube, so I'll I'll look it up. And I also want to see the Cruiserweight match and a few others. But anyways. I haven't seen that whole match. Um, I've heard mixed results about it, so maybe she stepped up her game at Hell in a Cell, but I don't know. Just as of late, her wrestling hasn't hasn't really impressed me, and to be really honest, I think that Charlotte has been outshining her as far as wrestling goes. I've been far more impressed with, you know, Charlotte's wrestling, her matches, um... Especially the match where Charlotte busted out a corkscrew moonsault, for God's sakes. So I think Charlotte really showed her up in that match. I think she really overshadowed her. Which, considering that she's the heel and Sasha's the face, is not the best thing. But, whatever. Um, so there's that. And the promos are another thing. Now, a year ago, I never thought I'd be saying this. I never thought I'd be saying this about... Charlotte, but, or, you know, or Sasha Banks, but uh, just lately, I feel like Charlotte's promos have been so much better than Sasha Banks's promos, and to be really honest, I feel like Sasha Banks's promos have not been that good. I feel like they've been really forced, uh, just overacted, um, just ch cheese, I, I don't, just not very good. I mean, I know Sasha Banks is capable of, of decent promos, but just as of late, you know, her promos have just, to me, have just not been the best, have not been that good. And I feel like Charlotte, you know, Charlotte's gotten so much better on the microphone, in my opinion, and, 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 the, and the better, uh, the latter half of this year, she's gotten so much better on the microphone, probably due to the fact that she's a heel, you know, she probably had to get used to being a heel first, and now that she's got it down pat, you know, she can, she can cut pretty good promos, and that's what I think she's been doing. I think Charlotte's promos have been really, really good, which I also talked about in the uh, PWI Female 50, uh, ranking her number one. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, you know, I feel like since Sasha's the face, and in, um, not in this day and age in wrestling, because I mean, in this day and age in wrestling, people will probably cheer for the heel more often than the face, but I feel like since Sasha's the face and Charlotte's the heel, you know, I feel like I should be getting behind Sasha and her promos, but I'm not. I'm getting more behind Charlotte and her promos, because I feel like they're just so much better, you know, so I don't know what Sasha, you know, to me, I think Sasha, as far as promos goes, I, need, I think she needs to step up her game and maybe work on them a little bit, um, because to me, Charlotte has just been steamrolling Sasha in terms of promos. Just, I think Charlotte's been so much better on the microphone as of late. Um, so yeah, and to be, and honestly, I wasn't that upset when, sh when, uh, I heard that Charlotte, you know, uh, won back the women's title because I really do enjoy her as the main heel champion on Raw, and I think she's been doing some really good work, and I don't want to see it end yet, honestly, you know, especially since I haven't been that impressed with Sasha, you know, the, the idea of a Sasha, I mean, she's already won it two times, she's lost, she's dropped it quickly both times because of injury or other reasons that I'm not sure of, but I heard they changed plans mid-match at the Hell in a Cell, which is pretty stupid, but, you know, I do think Sasha should get a title reign. I'm not saying she shouldn't get a title reign. I think she deserves a good long title reign because, you know, you know, whether I like it or hate it, you know, she is one of the rising stars in the female division. And she is very over, so I do think she deserves a, a title reign you know, a, a, a decent, you know, a decently linked one, a decently linked title reign, but right now, I just, the, I don't know, the idea of, a, of, of Sasha getting the title and then having it for a while and Charlotte not being the champion anymore, that just doesn't really sit right with me, I just, I, I'm much, I'm much more interested in Charlotte's work right now than Sasha's, so, I don't know. And like I said, I, I didn't think I'd be saying that a year ago, because a year ago I felt completely differently. I, it was the other way around, but now I just feel like Charlotte's been killing it and just completely showing Sasha up every time. So, eh. 
But yeah, so I guess I just feel in closing, like I said, I guess as of as of late, I just feel like Sasha has just gotten kind of overrated. Um, you know, and again, I know that's not really that's I'm probably gonna get some shit for this if this video gets a decent amount of views, but I don't know. I just haven't been that impressed with her lately. Um, I know she's capable of better. I know she's capable of putting on some really good stuff. Um, who knows? Maybe it's just an off time for her or something, but I don't know. Just haven't been that impressed. I've been more impressed with Charlotte than Sasha. So, But yeah, uh, I think that's probably about it for this video. Um, you know, let me, let me know what you think. Um, do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you in the middle? You know, let me know. And uh, yeah, so... That's it for this one, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Peace.